their case uh, most comprehensively and in the most persuasive way. So I'm going to go through each of these attributes and ask you to raise your hands in favour as they come along. So let's start with passion, uh, which John so eloquently outlined the case for earlier, that primarily passion can inspire great leadership and lead an enterprise to long-term success. Please raise your hand if you'd like to vote for passion. Okay, and let's move on. What about power? Is it the mixture of righteousness and power that creates the best outcome, as Professor Parekh has argued? Please raise your hand in support of power. I make that one. It's not too late. Two. Okay. Let's, uh, let's move forward. Uh, let's talk about purpose here then. Uh, and let me ask you to raise your hand in support of purpose. I think we have a clear leader at this point. Let's see if we can get a, a late move up the rails from profit. Jeff Riddell, I think, outlined a very convincing case for profit as a motivator in its truest sense. Is it the best measure of value and the guarantor of success here. Please raise your hand for profit. Well, I think, uh, I think you had a go and you gave Purpose a pretty good run, but I'd have to say that Purpose won the day here. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching this CNBC debate from the World Economic Forum in Tianjin in China. We've been asking what wins now. Thank you to our audience here who've been involved in voting uh, for the various attributes that we've outlined. And a thank you, of course, to our panelists. That wraps up our program. Thank you very much for watching at home, and we'll see you next time. Ernst & Young are proud to be associated with the World Economic Forum's annual meeting of the new champions in Tianjin. Ernst & Young. Quality in everything we do.